All right, so thanks for joining me. The purpose of the screencast is to demonstrate how a student in a high school mixed ability biology classroom that is co-taught can access differentiated resources um, and be provided differentiated instruction through the platform StudyWiz. In brief, StudyWiz is the uh, high school's overall central online learning platform uh, in which um, teachers are able to post um, assignments, uh, able to communicate with students, able to um, accept documents, um, um, and, and so much more. So we're going to highlight and demonstrate how that works. Um, so first, we, I took the time to create um, folders. So you, you go into basically the, um, the biology class, and then you're going to start to create folders. So you'll see options, whole class folders, small group folders, and individual folders, which is great for differentiating because now you have your tiers. Um, you can break your groups up uh, by levels, by reading levels, um, by interest, um, by any of the ways that you normally would in the physical classroom. The only difference is, is now we are um, in a different space. Um, so um, let's, let's move forward. So um, the scenario would be that we have a test coming up um, and students are at different levels. So there may be two or three different tests um, going around. Um, and so then there would be two or three different ways to prepare for those tests uh, leading up. Um, and so let's take uh, the example of um, a student who would be in um, a middle of the line group. Okay, so he or she would then say to themselves, okay, well, I know, you know, Mr. Hodge has uh, assigned a test and he told me that there's some resources on StudyWiz, so I'm going to go to StudyWiz. Um, I know he said he put them in my folder. So here we are. This, the, the screen that we're on right now would represent what a student would see. Um, they would then see, uh, okay, Biology Chapter 12 Test Review. Oh, that's what he was talking about. So they're going to click on that. And what are they going to see? They're going to see another link, and that link will take them to Biology Chapter 12 Test Review. Of course, you would have to prepare a test review in order to be able to put one here. Um, so let's do that. We'll click it. We'll take a look at what the student would see as they go through um, the motion. So here it is, and this is what they would see. So um, in about 30 seconds, they are able to uh, view uh, a review that I had posted for them. Um, not to get into detail on the review, but um, the review uh, matches um, the chapter that we were working on, provides links, provides page numbers, provides key vocabulary, and uh, of course, uh, main ideas. Um, so uh, for the middle of the line group, um, I was able to keep with the content, but scale down according to Bloom's taxonomy, um, using less of the synthesis and analysis, and focusing more on uh, recall um, for this group. So we're going to close that out. The student would then take the time to go ahead and, and, and review this on their own. Now, we're going to go back to StudyWiz. The student may say to themselves, well, you know what? I, I got it, but I, you know, I, I'm still not exactly sure. Well, what can I do? Well, the student has several options. They can go back to um, the home screen for bio, which is, again, this is their, we're in their individual folder um, by name. So they can say, well, you know, I know he had some more resources he mentioned to me. And I think he talked to me about a YouTube channel. So here's the link for that. And so they would go ahead and access StudyWiz, and then they would access a specific YouTube stream that I created solely for the purpose of this particular tiered group in this class. So he, would, he or she would click on that, um, then they would click on this link, and they would access this. Um, these videos correspond with the main ideas from the chapter that are also on the review sheet, um, which then of course follows suit with the activities that were done during the week, um, and then of course which will be assessed upon um, 
in the near future. So, um, oh, you know, he may say or she may say, oh, okay, the DNA song. Well, that's, you know, that's something I want to check out. So then they would just, uh, they would play it and they would, of course, uh, be humored by the funny DNA song, but but also hopefully be uh, absorbed by um, <laughs> the power of the, of, the, of the message. Okay, so now a student may say, well, you know what? I still didn't get it. I did the review. I checked out all these great videos, and I'm still not sure, so there's another option. And the other option is, uh, again, so now we're tiering, um, or I should say differentiating again by the uh, process in which we're reviewing. So we have the video, which is the flipped uh, idea. We have uh, the traditional study guide, um, and now we have a, a more of a visual um, opportunity for students who may benefit from uh, an infographic. So they may say, okay, well, you know what? Uh, this is the one I wanted to check out. So DNA stands for, okay, what does it stand for? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I see the visual. Um, and so then there's another resource for that student um, to um, hopefully be able to prepare well. Um, so there, there it is. Um, you know, a student at this point should say to themselves, hopefully, um, between those three um, options, that they're well prepared. And of course, we'd follow suit with a benchmark uh, in the morning or in the day leading to the exam as well to prepare. So hopefully that was informative. Um, if you would need any assistance with uh, learning how to do what I just demonstrated, I would be very happy to uh, assist you. You can reach out to me um, here on YouTube. You can also reach out to me at uh, Twitter. My Twitter handle is at PLC uh, Coach. So it's a, uh, at P, the letter L, C, Coach, C-O-A-C-H. Have a great day. Happy differentiating.